One thing that's useful to do is to find an average broken down by something, some kind of qualitative variable. So let's say maybe I want to find the average cost of a vet visit based on whether the animal's male or female. So I want to know what's the average cost for all the male animals, what's the average cost for all the females. Now I could go through and see if they're the same or different. And this is easy to do in Excel. It's actually a new function. So if you're looking at doing this in Excel 2003, you will not find a similar function. This is new to Excel 2007. So what I'm going to do is calculate the average cost for males and the average cost for females. And what I'm going to do is insert a function. So in the formulas tab, I'm going to do the insert function. I'm looking for a function called average ifs. And we do want that S on the end, because we are actually going to pick two categories. The average range is where I'm going to choose what I want it to average. So I do want it to average cost. So I'm going to highlight the cost. And notice I did not highlight the label. I just want to deal with the numbers. The criteria range, well, I want it to be the males. So I'm going to choose the gender column. That's where I'm going to tell Excel to look. And I want it to be males. So I'm going to choose zero for males. And I'm going to say, OK. I'm going to do the same idea for females. Average ifs. It should pop up in your recently used functions once you've used it once. And I want my gender not to be zero, but I want it to be one. And this gives me the average cost for males, average cost for females. And you could see that the average cost for males is just slightly higher than the average cost for females. And it might be worth looking at why that is. And again, you can format these um, so that they have the borders. One nice thing that you can also do with Excel is if we know this is something like money, in the number tab I can just push the little dollar sign and it will turn that into money for me. So that's a nice thing. If you know you're working with money or you know you're working with percent or if you wanted to add commas, those are all options that are right there.